All right, boys and girls, we are going to pick up uh, where we left off in Chapter 3 of Charlotte's Web. We just passed the page of Lurvy missing Wilbur and falling and grabbing the Cocker Spaniel instead. So I am on my page, page 22, and it starts off with, Look out for Lurvy. Look out for Lurvy, cried the cows. Look out for Zuckerman, yelled the gander. Watch out for the dog, cried the sheep. Listen to me, listen to me, screamed the goose. This is crazy. Poor Wilbur was dazed and frightened by this hullabaloo. He didn't like being the center of all this fuss. He tried to follow the instructions his friends were giving him, but he couldn't run downhill and uphill at the same time, and he couldn't turn and twist when he was jumping and dancing, and he was crying so hard he could barely see anything that was happening. After all, Wilbur was a very young pig. Not much more than a baby, really. He wished Fern was there to take him in his ar in her arms and comfort him. When he looked up and saw Mr. Zuckerman standing quite close to him, holding a pail of warm slops, and slops are just like food that's given to pigs usually. Slops are just like a bunch of leftover food that people don't usually eat. He felt relieved. He lifted his nose and sniffed. The smell was delicious. Warm milk, potato skins, wheat middlings, Kellogg's cornflakes, and a popover left from the Zuckerman's breakfast. Come, pig, said Mr. Zuckerman, tapping the pail. Come, pig. Wilbur took a step toward the pail. No, 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 said the goose. It's the old pale trick, Wilbur. Don't fall for it, don't fall for it. He's trying to lure you back into captivity, Ibbity. He's appealing to your stomach. <laughs> Wilbur didn't care. The food smelled appetizing. He took another step toward the pail. Pig, pig, said Mr. Zuckerman in a kind voice and began walking slowly toward the barnyard, looking all about him innocently, as if he didn't know that a little white pig was following along behind him. You'll be sorry, 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 called the goose. Wilbur didn't care. He kept walking toward the pail of slops. You'll miss your freedom, honked the goose, and our freedom is worth a barrel of slops. Wilbur didn't care. When Mr. Zuckerman reached the pig pen, he climbed over the fence and poured the slops into the trough. Then he pulled the loose board away from the fence so that there was a wide hole for Wilbur to walk through. Reconsider! Reconsider! So Goose is telling him, think about it, think about it. Wilbur paid no attention. He stepped through the fence into his yard. He walked to the trough and took a long drink of slops, sucking in the milk hungrily and chewing the popover. A popover is kind of like, uh, is like a, a pop tart. <laughs> That's what a popover is. It was good to be home again. While Wilbur ate, Lurvy fetched a hammer and some eight penny nails and nailed the board in place. So Wilbur is not able to get out anymore. Then he and Mr. Zuckerman leaned lazily on the fence, and Mr. Zuckerman scratched Wilbur's back with a stick. He's quite a pig, said Lurvy. Yes, he'll make a good pig, said Mr. Zuckerman. Wilbur heard the words of praise. He felt the warm milk inside his stomach. He felt the pleasant rubbing of the stick along his itchy back. He felt peaceful and happy and sleepy. This had been a tiring afternoon. It was still only about four o'clock, but Wilbur was ready for bed. I'm really too young to go out into the world alone, he thought as he lay down. And that is the end of chapter three. Quite a day for Wilbur, right? So let's go back to our packet and let's take a look at the questions here. So E.B. White is describing this barn, right? And we saw that at the beginning of chapter three. So I'm just going to go right back to the beginning of chapter three because I saw some words that I need here. There it is. The barn was large and the barn was very old and it smelled of hay and it smelled of manure. So right here, I'm going to put very large remember, pause where you need to so you can catch up with me. Very old. 
smelled of hay, lots of hay, right? It mostly smelled of hay. And then it smelled of manure. And we know manure is cow poop. I don't know if I like that smell so much, guys. <laughs> Going back to the beginning of chapter three, we see a lot more things about the barn. That sometimes it could smell of grease, of grain, of um, rubber boots, of new rope. Sometimes it smelled of the catfish head, right? Uh, I'm sorry, of the fish head for the cat. It was warm in the winter and cool in the summer. And let's see, there it was a place for or swallows to build their nests, and it had pitchforks and monkey wrenches, all these different types of barn tools, and rat traps. And so we can use any one of those things to describe our barn. But I think I'm going to go with what it felt like during the, the two seasons that they brought up, which was what it felt like in winter and what it felt like in summer, and I'm going to add them here. And if you want to add something else from chapter three instead, you could totally do that. But if you want to just copy mine, you could totally do that too. So here I'm going to put um, warm in the winter. And then she said it was pleasantly, or he said it was pleasantly cool in summer. And it all didn't fit inside of the box, so I'm gonna have to write it out. Copy that down and pause if you need to. And right down here, we're going to finish our statements, our true and false statements. Was Wilbur actually happy to be on this farm? Not really, right? He was only happy to get his slops, but he's feeling lonely and he's feeling very bored. Fern was able to go inside of the pen with Wilbur. Was that true or false? false, right? She had to sit on the milk stool. It's a, it's a shorter stool where you milk cows. Okay. Wilbur's new friend was the goose. That is true. And Wilbur was lured back into the pen with a pail of food. And that is also true. His food, we know it's called slops, right? Okay, so we're done with our chapter three questions. And for you guys, you'll be completing on your own the coloring of our barn. Have a great day, guys, and I hope you enjoyed this chapter. It was really good. Bye.